The biggest problem beginners face with video editing is that a lot of the softwares out there only run smoothly on high-end computers. And the best way to combat that is to use a web-based software, like in video, where you can do everything right from your web browser and it doesn't require you to have a fast processor or a ton of RAM because it's all web-based. So if you want to make professional looking videos from your PC or even your Chromebook, stick around, we're going to jump into this tutorial. So to start, click the link in the description and that'll reroute you to the invideo.io website and from there you can create a free account. Now because this video is sponsored by InVideo, you can actually get 25% off of their annual plans using my code Colin25. And what that's going to get you access to is the premium templates, million of stock videos and photos, 1080p exporting, and more. It is a limited time coupon, so be sure to take action on this discount. Now that you've created your account, let's get started editing within InVideo. Now, on the website, I have just chosen blank canvas just because we're going to start from scratch, but we do have the option to choose a pre made template if we want to start there. Um, I'm choosing wide 16 by 9 for my YouTube video and I'm just going to click make a video and that's going to take us into the editor. All right and here we are within the editor and let's just cover the layout of everything. On the far left side here we have things like uploads, videos, image, music, text, all the different things that we're going to be using to make this video look professional. We then have in the middle here, this is the preview screen so we can view everything going on. We have on the bottom here, this is where our timeline is going to be and we'll be able to see everything and be able to decide when text appears, when music comes in, all that kind of stuff. And then this section is actually gonna show us all the different layers and things going on, which is gonna be super useful later. We'll get into the details of all of that. But to start, we're gonna go over to Upload Media, and I'm just gonna choose some files from my computer. All right, and I've added my video here. It's just gonna take a few seconds for it to upload to InVideo so we can edit it. But while that's going on, I wanna talk about this templates section here, because this is a huge resource for creators. Now, if you have a free account, you do get access to some of these templates, but if you get the paid version, you will have access to the full premium template library. But just to show you some things here, we could go to something like intro. And we are going to have pre-designed intros that we can just drag and drop and customize into our timeline. We can also search something really specific like intro real estate. And it's gonna pull up real estate intros and promotionals and templates that we can use in our videos. And then if I search outro here, you can see that there are these customized outro templates to encourage people to click on other videos, to give our video a like, we can give them some further information or point them to our social media handles. There's so many of these different templates that we can use to enhance our videos. We will come back to the templates as I do want to use an outro, but for now let's go back to our video here and it looks like it's finished uploading. So let's put this together and make an awesome video. All right, so to start putting this video together, all we have to do is click on any one of our videos and it'll add it right into this trimming section. And in here, we can trim our video to get it just right. Now, all we have to do is grab either side of the video clip and it'll trim it. So I'm just gonna grab this and bring it right to where I start talking. Right there, perfect. And then I can do the same on the other side here and it's giving me that nice little preview so I know right where the video should end. There we go, awesome. And then I can just click this add button here and it's gonna add it right to our timeline. Now I can also preview it by clicking play here or I can grab this playhead and drag it and I can kind of scroll through and get a little preview of what's going on if I need to go to a certain point. Um, otherwise I can grab this and move it right back to the beginning so that way I can watch it all the way through. Now I want to add a second piece of footage here but before I do that, what I wanna do is add a scene. And this is something unique within video where with scenes, it actually helps you keep things a little bit more organized so that way your timeline doesn't get confusing with all these different effects happening. So I'm gonna click add scene here and I'm gonna choose a blank scene. And then now I'll go over and I'll add this video clip in and I'm gonna click the add button here and it'll add it to my timeline. Now, what will happen now is anything we wanna to add to this video clip, 
is gonna show up in this section. So we'll see media, we'll see text, music, all attached to this one video clip. And then if we go over to this scene, all the text effects, stickers, and things related to that will be only under this one. So it's a really easy way to stay organized to see what's going on in your videos to where things don't get confusing. If you wanna rearrange your clips or scenes, all you have to do is just hold down on the mouse pad and you can actually just drag this right over and easily switch these around. So this one's now the first scene and then this is the second scene. Now let's get into some of the different features we can do to enhance our video. Now, one of those things would be adding a subscribe button to our videos to encourage people to follow our channel. And one of the ways we can actually do that is with the stock footage found within NVIDIA. I know a lot of times we think of stock footage and we think of like things that businesses use, but creators can use stock footage to enhance their content. Now, we have here the premium and iStock checked. So if you do get that premium version, you're getting access to the full library of different effects that you can use. And all I have to do is go to the search bar here, and I'm just gonna search subscribe. And instantly it's gonna pull up a whole bunch of different subscribe videos that I can use for my video. And I'm actually really liking this one here. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm going to trim it down a bit just cause I want it just to appear for a little bit. Probably about, yeah, four seconds roughly is all I need. And I'm gonna click the add button. Then I'm just gonna line this up right where I make the call to action to subscribe. All right, so let's listen and see what this looks like. And if you wanna see some test footage, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I'll be doing further videos on this camera. And that looks great because I'm not only just making a call to action real quick to subscribe to the channel for further value on the, the camera I'm talking about, but at the same time, it's a break. It's then causing the viewer to look at something else and then come back, which will help with engagement. Now on the video side specifically, let's get into some of these settings. So I'm just gonna click on my video here in the clip section and up above, I'm given a whole bunch of options here that we can go through. For example, there is a crop option. So if I want to zoom in further on this video, I can. All I have to do is move this and I can kind of crop in on my video. So let's say all I want is this to be shown. I can click done. And now the video is going to be cropped in. I can grab either side here just to make sure there's no black bars like so. And now I am a lot more zoomed in on my video. You also have the ability, let's say we didn't wanna go off the crop. There is this back button up here. If we click this, you can actually reverse any actions you did. And now we're back to before we even cropped this video. And we'll just kind of continue on here going across. I'm gonna be showing you some of the more important ones here, which is first of all, this adjust colors option. Now, even with the free account, you get access to do all of this color grading and adjustments for free to your videos. So here I can actually change the color temperature if I want it to be warmer or a colder looking. Um, I'm able to adjust the brightness, which I can do like that. I'm gonna turn the contrast a little bit down like so. I can also control uh, saturation to make it more colorful in the background. Um, I can control sharpness and blur as well as the hue. And then down even further here, just to close these ones down, is I actually have access to a whole bunch of different filters. And I, I can just hover my mouse over and it's gonna show me all these different looks that I can go with, which I'm actually really liking this one. So I'm gonna click on that, awesome. And I can also choose the intensity here. So full intensity without. So that's what that filter is doing. And I can lower it to a point just to where I like it. It's probably right about there. Awesome. And there, I've just color graded my footage using all the tools here in video. And then we also have the animation feature. And what this is, is it applies transitions or animations to your videos. So what you could do is you can do fade ins and fade outs. You can do zoom ins. They have so many different like transitions and animations you can do. Um, and these not only work for your videos, but we're gonna get to in a second is things like stickers and overlays. So actually, for example here, if we wanted to, let's go to, uh, we're gonna click on media clip number two, which is this one here. Um, we'll actually do this so we can see the layer better. Um, and what we can actually do is click on this, go to animation, and if we want, we can make an in animation. We could do a slide from left big. And then for the out animation, we could do a 
uh, shift to right, I think would look pretty good. So now when we click play here, just to demonstrate, And so you can actually enhance a lot of your video clips using this animation tool. Now you can also have transitions in between your two sections. So right now um, with this, if we click play here, there's no transition going on, but we can click on this and we can add a transition. So we could do a zoom in here, for example. And now when we click play, when it goes to the next section, it'll do a zoom in. So you can add different transitions here between scenes, so you can have your intro, transition happens to take you to that next scene, and then a transition to the outro, um, which is really, really nice. And speaking of which, we still need to add our outro, but we'll get to that. We're gonna do a few more enhancements here to these clips that we have in our timeline. And one of those enhancements is actually adding things like music to our timeline. So I'm just clicking the music icon here, and we have a whole bunch of different uh, genres of music that we can go with. We can easily click on one and it'll give us a whole list of tracks that we can click on, play, and add to our timeline. And the other cool part is with the premium versions of NVIDIA, you have reseller rights, which means that you own the rights to the videos you make on the platform. So if you're using the music from NVIDIA, you don't have to worry about copyright claims on your YouTube videos, which is awesome because there's so many different songs in here that you could use for your videos and not have to worry about a thing. Next on our list of enhancements, we have the text effects, which we can click on these. And here you can add basic headings. But if you scroll down, there are pre-made templates for text effects as well. So you can have uh, cool transition text effects that show images that look professional. You got some fun ones in here too, social media handles. So there's a lot of cool things that we can do in here. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to click on this one here and add it into our timeline. There we go. And what I can actually do is click on this. Just going to double click and I can change the text to my name here. Colin, I won't do full caps. <laughs> Colin Michael. There we go, awesome. And I am a content creator, so I do not need to change that. And I can actually grab this and move it around the timeline anywhere I want, so I can put it down in this corner if I want. Then I can also resize it if I want to, and you might notice the text disappearing, but once you let go, it'll fix the, the text to make it the right size. Um, and then I can also, this is called group one, I'm just going to move it over just to the opening beginning here. And now when I click play, we'll see it come on screen and then it'll hop off. If I want it to hop off in a better fashion though, I can always click on this and I can go to animation and I can have an out animation. So if I want it to just fade out to the right, I can. And there we go, it does a proper fade out. And then another thing we can do is add layers. Now we've already added video layers. Like this is our first layer here. And then we have the second media type and then we have the text here. So you'll see the layers, they'll start to kind of pile up here. Um, we're gonna add one more because we're going to add a sticker. And in here, you actually have access to quite a few different stickers. Uh, they're not moving stickers. We can always animate them to, to move if we want. Uh, I think some of these might be, like this one is some of these call to actions like signed up now, more info are, but I know this subscribe button isn't, but we have access to a whole bunch of different things here that we can add to enhance our videos. So if we wanted, I could add this money icon here. And once I'm on it here, I can drag this anywhere I want. So I can put this up in the corner like so. Maybe I'm talking about money at this point. I just wanna, you know, put at least a sticker on there to show, you know, give reference to money there. So you can add these in and they have that bit of motion, at least some of them do, where you're gonna have, you know, added production quality by when you're talking about something, having a little animated sticker appear uh, it definitely enhances your videos. And another thing we can drag on too, is if we go up to the images, you can do stock images too. So if we are talking about cameras here, you know, I could search something like cameras and it's gonna bring up stock images of cameras. So if I'm referencing something or maybe I make a reference to drone photography, I could have this image of this uh, drone camera appear on screen. So I can click on this, I'll just extend it so it goes full side to either side here. 
So as I'm talking about you know, drone photography, I could have the picture appear on screen. Um, I could also apply an animation to it so it glides on and slides off. Um, and then I go back and I'm talking. And again, these breakups will enhance your video and make them more engaging. And like I said, there are some free photos and videos you can use with that free plan, but definitely take advantage of that 25% off discount so you can use all the assets here to make awesome videos just from your web browser. Now, real quick for that last scene that we're going to do, we're gonna click the plus button over here and we're gonna choose from template and I'm going to search outro and we wanna make sure we just have an outro here that we can use for our video. So um, I do like, let's see here. I do like this one because it centers on one call to action to watch one video and it also has some templates here. So I'm gonna click on this one. So it'll come on screen up next. And then what I can also do is you'll notice all these different clips here. This is, these are all those different layers that you can see. So I can click on this first layer um, which it looks like it's changing the Twitter handle. And I can do at my Twitter handle. And I can click on the next text example and I can see that's the Instagram one. I can go through and make all of these changes here. Um, I can even change the overlays, whether I want the text to be there. If I wanted, if I don't want it to say up next, I could just click delete and it's out of the layer. So you can really customize this outro and make all these changes and use, you know, the different other text effects and stickers. If I want stickers here, I can just drop them in and totally customize this thing, um, which I think is awesome. And once you've finished making your video, the next part is to download it. Uh, so we can click this download button. Uh, if you are on the free version, it will export at 720p. If you upgrade to the premium, it's going to be the 1080p version. And we can click the export button here. That's gonna send it off. And once that's done, we can save it to our computer and export it to YouTube or Facebook or anywhere else. Now be sure to try out InVideo for free by clicking the link in the description or going to invideo.io. And if you wanna take advantage of the premium features offered, be sure to use my code Colin25 to save 25% off of the annual plans. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.